Well, last night I was on Facebook and a friend of mine that I've been a friend with for over 30 years. I met her uh, when I was around 30 and we were doing um, healing circles and a lot of different ceremonies, sweat lodges and stuff. And we've stayed friends all these years and I'm 10, 10 years older than her. So when I met her, she was like around 20. And you always hear natives, like she was posting something on Facebook about natives. They always say the, the red road, I walk the red road. And you always hear this, uh, they go to people who follow the powwow trail like saying, oh, I walk the red road. Or if they go to sun dances and other ceremonies, they say, oh, I walk the red road. And last night I was brought back to a time when me and my friend, we were doing these ceremonies on Skid Row down in Edmonton. We go down there with the elders and we would do ceremonies and she was Muscopios for the guy's wife. I was Muscopios for the man. And we do these circles and different things. And one day they invited an old medicine man and he called me over. And so I went over and was making tea and we're both standing there. And he says, you, and I'm like, yeah, I thought he was gonna maybe start getting angry like sometimes they do. And he says, you, you walk the, the black road. He says, all these people, they talk about the red road. He said, but the medicine people from all around the planet, whoever they are, they're on this black road. And he says, it starts in the west. It goes all the way through the north and it comes back out in the east where the sun comes up in the morning. And he says, you, your path is to walk this road. And he says, we're getting closer to the north. When you get to the north, it's very cold. It's dark. And he says, there's a lot of people that need help out there all over this planet. And the medicine people and spiritual people, they walk this path and it's very challenging. There's a lot of difficulties, ups and downs, sadnesses and hurts and pains and all kinds of stuff. And we're on this path trying to help people to realize that they're going to get through this. And even how scary it is that there are people out there on this journey and got somewhere they're going to get through the north and eventually get closer to the east and one day that sun is going to rise and they're going to all realize they made it through all the hard times and in the Hopi they call it the purifying times and other cultures they have different names of what we're going through and everybody's being challenged and so when you're working with energy and you're helping people maybe you're one of the, the medicine people on this, this black road walking from the west into the night through the storms and through the cold and the chaos. And you're waking up people and you're guiding them. So when you get into the East, they all realize they, they made it through all the difficulties. Now they're standing in the future. And when that old man and me, we talked and later went visiting him and we talked about the children. We say the little children that come into the world, we call them the grandmothers and grandfathers. Because after I leave, they're gonna go one day, they're gonna be there, they're gonna be the teachers. They're the ones that are going to take the knowledge and wisdom and they'll be the elders and they're going to teach the new generation all these different things and prepare them so when they become grandmothers and grandfathers that they will have something and they will carry that on so we always look back on the the children and we always say we're borrowing this world from them we're borrowing the world from the children of the future because when they're born they're going to replace us they will become the elders and they will borrow. And so last night I wrote a little bit on that to, to my friend and, and says, uh, remembering that we walk this journey and path, even though it's difficult, the creator is there and there's a light inside us. We're also carrying and people are looking for that light. And we're walking through these confusing dark times, but one day we'll all stand, stand in the East and we'll all celebrate and enjoy it and realize that we all made it. Felt it was important to share that today.